I'm in VirtualBox 7. I'm going to show you how to enable a virtual trusted platform module and explain what that is. Now, I have to have my virtual machine shut off, which it is. So I'll click on Settings after highlighting it. And then I'm going to go to where it says System. Now, take a look in the System area where it says TPM. So I'll choose the drop down, and we could choose version 1.2 or 2.0. Uh, usually, you'd want to use the newest one, but in some cases, that might cause a problem. So now that it, we're using version 2.0, the TPM, I'll explain what it is. You may also need to enable this if you would like to install Windows 11 in VirtualBox. If you're using a product that comes with Microsoft Windows, such as BitLocker, then it will encrypt your virtual machine, your operating system, and it will protect it in case anybody tries to grab that data without knowing the username and password. Without it, you can just plug your drive into another computer, and then you'll be able to read everything by mounting the virtual file. But with having BitLocker turned on, you can't do that. The only problem with using BitLocker without a trusted platform module is that it's using what's called software encryption. It's not really tied to any physical device. So what we have here in VirtualBox 7 is a virtual trusted platform module. Normally, a physical trusted platform module sits on the motherboard as a chip. But since we can't do this, since this is all virtual, we're using a virtual trusted platform module. So that gives you a lock between the virtual machine and the virtual box installation, which gives you an additional protection in case this file is ever stolen and trying to be used on another virtual box computer. So once you have the VTPM in, you can click OK. And now if you enable BitLocker inside your computer, then you have that additional protection that uh, you wouldn't otherwise have.